Hello everyone and welcome back to another week where we have another league. This week I'm playing Modern still. This time though I'm trying Handshake Tron. This is uh, one of the top decks from the recent uh, Pro Tour and I've never played Tron myself so I thought it'd be really nice to try and get a hand on it with the Handshake Tron version. Uh, I know typically Handshake Tron or Tron doesn't typically play Talisman of Resilience uh, and usually has two Besages instead of one. Um, so right now, uh, oh, also the dismembers are kind of added in here as well as creature removal. So other than that, though, it's pretty standard for the threats. It's got the Worm Coil Engines, the uh, Ulamogs. There's the Walking Ballista in here as well to take care of uh, Bowmasters and things like that. Uh, we have the one ring, of course, so that way we can just draw our deck out really easily and start to get extra things in the sideboard. We have a couple extra threats, such as Worm Coil Engines, Undering Titans, and Seascape Leveler. Because um, really, we want to get Karn, Forecast Karn, where is he? Ah, Karn the Great Creator. We really want to get him out early, so that way um, we can go and get those other items real fast from our sideboard to prevent our opponent from kind of going off. Uh, Oblivion Stones is a, another piece of removal, just deals with everything that's not like an enchantment, or I'm sorry, it just deals with everything. For the most part, that's uh, not indestructible. Uh, really, um, you know, first couple of turns is just going to be really getting Urza's Tower, Urza's Saga, Power Plant, or not Saga, oh my gosh, Urza's Mind. Uh, and we're really excited uh, when we see Ancient Stirrings and two, oh, I'm sorry, Sylvan Scrying, a green source, and e any of the two Tron lands. Because that means turn three, we are guaranteed to hit Tron. Uh, well, turn four, I think, because of the forest. Unless we get a Talisman. Yeah, Talisman kind of speeds up, speeds it up a little bit because you can just ramp into it. Uh, anyways, enough of me babbling. This is going to be my first league with the Tron deck, so... If I'm making mistakes, please go ahead and point them out to me below. Uh, I really want to understand what I'm doing wrong, so that way I can try and do better in the future. But let's jump into it. Hello, 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 and welcome back to this uh, this league of stacking triggers. Today we got here uh, Tron. Uh, not just saying Tron, we're going Handshake Tron. It's like I'm on the play, and I get to keep... Uh, so, and we got color fixing, we got ramp, and we have a payoff in hand. I think we keep this. This looks decent. Now, this is my first league match with Tron, so it's going to be interesting to see what we can do. Okay, cool. So there's our first piece of the puzzle. Let's go ahead and play Ancient Stirrings. So... Oh, there we go. We got the tower. We got the power plant. And we have a ramp for next turn. Perfect. I'm glad they also didn't counter that. So now we need... We got the power plant. We got the tower. I think we just need the mine. And that's a forest. Hmm. What do we want to grab? Let's just start assembling Tron. And we can go ahead and play a Talisman. And they're going to counter it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually okay with that. Talisman was just going to be gravy. So they're going to preordain, I'm pretty sure, they're the Merktide list. I could be wrong though. Like, this is very, very little information. Very, very little. Fury. Uh, creatures and/or planeswalkers. But are they gonna do a flicker effect? Yeah, there it is. Okay, we have an Oblivion Stone for next turn. What do we got here? Come on. 
expedition map is actually really good too. Uh, so let's play the tower. Uh, so that's eight damage per turn coming in. So we could ex. Yeah, I say we expedition map. All right, we're gonna go get Tron. So we need Urza's mine. So we have Tron next turn. Oh, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana on board, and we have the worm coil in hand. So they're going to do eight this turn. Okay, that's good. I don't unless there's a unless they have fluster storm. This is an interesting. I think this is like an is it scam deck. They probably have subtlety or force in their hand. Another fury. They're gonna invoke it. Okay. Yeah, they're trying to kill me fast. That's fantastic, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and play the mine. Tron hasn't been assembled. We got seven mana. Let's go ahead and play the worm coil. Perfect, okay. Uh, we have two mana left. Let's go ahead and play the sphere for free. Or not free. Okay. What's nice is with the death touch, they can't. The double strike's not going to do anything. Well, that's unfortunate. We just can we just lose this one now. Let's just play it out and get more information. Other than this, actually just kills us. But ah, uh... oh, man. Yeah. Tough beats. Begin sideboard. Um let's see. I think we just need to be more aggressive with our mulligans and stuff. Have answers right away. Right, the warping whale. Oh, that targets sorceries. Warping Whale doesn't work. Dismember would have worked, though. That would have been nice to have. Uh, yes, I would like to play first, please. So we have Relic, the One Ring. Not good enough. Expedition Map, Mine, Tower. Yes, I think we keep this. And I think we bottom the relic. Yeah, because turn three we're going to have what we need. Unfortunately, no threats. But we will have Tron assembled. We can find it after that. Also, I don't know if we're supposed to play out Expedition Map right now. Okay, perfect. They don't. They don't have a way to scam us here. All right, so we can go ahead and. All right, another mine. We're just gonna play the tower. Again, this is my first time playing Tron, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this, but <laughs> uh, we'll see. Hopefully I can draw into something here next turn. If not, we're going to have to Urza Saga to get items.
All these mines in hand are very nice, though. All right, we're going to crack it now. Uh, we got the mine. We got the tower. We need the power plant. Give me something good. Oblivion stone. Okay. So we have Tron. We'll go ahead and sack this for a green. The one ring is a good draw. Uh, tap two, that gives us four total. Are they going to counter the one ring? If it's a spell pierce, yeah, it looks like they're going to counter it. Shock it. Yep. Counter spell. Yeah, okay. It is what it is. Next turn we play Urza Saga and Oblivion Stone. Dashing out Ragavan. Neat. Yep. That's what you get off the top. Do your trigger. Ancient stirrings. Not bad. Created that would have allowed me to dig deeper, but it is what it is. Relic. Alright, I don't like relic. Really here. Other than relic does allow us to draw a card. Go ahead and play Urza's Tower. Or Oblivion Stone, not Tower. Oh my god. I'm going to counter this too. Oh, perfect. Alright. So we have our Emergency Ripcord. We can just kind of play this one out a little bit. Also, how's everybody liking the content? Um, you know, Dan and I are committed to trying to do one league a week, hosting one match per day. You know, we'd love to hear some feedback down in the comments below. You know, do you like it? Do you hate it? What can we do differently? Do you guys like us playing the meta decks? Do you like us playing off meta? We'd love to hear from you. Oh, that's unfortunate. See, it's one, two, three, four. I don't have enough. Oh, that killed Urza Saga. No. Yeah, there's a Ragavan. Oh, this sucks. It's Exile the Relic. Draw a card. That's not good. This is perfect, though. That's exactly what this member is for. Hmm. Okay, so they're going to exile the creature. What? Are you kidding me? I didn't have a chance while it was exiled to tap my lands? <sighs> I feel like I should have been able to do that. One, two, three, four. Next, next turn we can Oblivion Stone. It's going to cost me my whole turn, but I don't know what else to do here. Oh, man, that's rough. Well, I guess that's him not getting a Fury out. Also, he's nervous to play a Fury. 
because of O-Stone out there. What do we draw? We got treasure and a forest. Okay. Not bad. This is a weird deck. Definitely one that we're not used to playing against. What do we draw? Anything good? Oh. Tap target permanent. Man. Just playing all the good blue and red cards. Damn, that sucks. How do you... How do you even do this? Should I have expected the Essence Flux? That just feels like a, a weird card. So we're going to take another four. And what did he get this time? Sylvan's Grind. So he could go get another land. I don't think he needs it. You gonna? What are you playing? Draw three cards. Okay. That's good. That means you only have two, two mana available. You're gonna preordain one of them. Okay. You have two lightning bolts in hand, or a lightning bolt. And you're looking for a third, a second. <laughs> He's looking for another lightning bolt. Okay. We have to do this. Can you essence flux anything? Can you bounce anything to hand? What do you got? We're in an island cycle. Oh, to make use of your treasure. Makes sense. Okay. Now we got the mine. Let's go ahead and play this. Uh, I want to draw a card. We're going to add green. We're going to play another sphere. We're going to pass the turn. Hopefully they can't beat us. We can do absolutely nothing, so we're just going to yield through this turn. There's nothing for us to respond to. All right, they're going to expressively iterate. Hopefully, hopefully we can at least make it to game three. I'd be very sad to get through this. <laughs> And only make it, uh, only go 0 and 2 in this match. Kind of, we are making them work for it, though. I will say that they have quite the draw advantage on us, though. So counterspell entered the exile zone, which means they have other counters in hand, possibly. Yeah, they have other counters in hand. If that happened. There is a Karn Great Com Creator. Let's tap two towers to try and play Worm Coil Engine. They're probably going to counter this. Right, yep, you fetch. You shock yourself. Subtlety. Okay, they, they flash it in. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on the bottom. Oh, we could have drawn it. Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and play four to do Karn. Can they? Do they have another free spell? They 
do. Uh, let's go ahead, make it green. We got a walking ballista. <sighs> Man, they are going to flash that in on the ends. Oh, wait. Okay, so I think that's okay. Because a subtlety, a subtlety they can't do anything with is fine. All right, so X is two. We're gonna put the walking ballista in. So this can snipe a monkey or anything that we can that we need. Next turn, I say we need to get like the one ring or something. Expressive iteration, good card. Make your choice. See, things that let us draw would be really nice. Oh, maybe ensnaring bridge. Actually, I should probably try it with Karn next turn. I should get the ensnaring bridge if I can. Because then subtlety can't attack. Fire ice, though, I forget. What does fire ice, what's the other side do? Ah, oh, we're dead. We're dead. They took the, because of the fire ice. Okay. Oh, I guess we wouldn't have been dead. Yeah, they're gonna swing with subtlety. I have to assume that they're gonna have another blocker, but like there's there's not like I can't just play nothing. Or not blocker, a counter. Yeah, I can't just play nothing. Perfect, okay. Reveal an artifact card. Yes, use the ability, please. So we get the one ring. Haywire might. That's Haywire. Meyer, Haywire. What, exile target non-creature artifact or non-creature enchantment? No. Metamorph. Uh, I think ensnaring bridge is what we want. Yeah, let's do the ensnaring bridge. Two, three, four. Hopefully there's no card. No counter. Okay, perfect. Oh no, I can't attack either. Yeah, it's okay that we lose the mana. But since I don't have cards in hand, I I bought a lot of time. Unless they just have lightning bolt. Did you slow roll me the entire time? Okay. <laughs> I was about to be very upset. Expressively iterate. So what are you going to reveal? I did not think the ensnaring bridge plan through. Does give me time though to to dig. Cast into the fire entered the exile zone. What exactly does cast into the fire do again? Oh, exile target artifact. 
Well, that makes sense. Let's see. Hmm. I think we're just dead. Yeah. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, dang, it was worth a shot to try and snipe the... To try and snipe the subtlety. Oh, man. Good game. Good game. That was unfortunate. Okay, well, there's our first record. We are 0-1 in this league, but what we've learned in this league is you can start off losing and still make out with a winning record. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, subscribe, like, and comment. Let us know what I'm doing wrong. Until next time, see you on the battlefield.